Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Larry, K3PTO. He says, Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. I have been reading articles on power distribution along a transmission line with high SWR. One of them indicates that due to reflections, the power at the driven end of the line is higher than the power provided by the transmitter. I am having a really hard time understanding that. And yes, there are a couple things going on here that are quite interesting. First, what we're going to look at is what happens in a transmission line when there is a tuner in the line between the transmitter and the transmission line. And then doing that, we're going to talk about how electrical uh, power, sometimes the current and the voltage don't follow each other. And so actually for a short period of time, we create negative power. And that seems like a very strange concept. It's like nature's taking things back from us, which is of course what's happening. But if there's some negative power, then there can be actually some positive power greater than the original power to make up for it. But only if we do it just looking at wave by wave. Let's take a look at the whiteboard. Okay, this is what we're thinking of here. We've got a transceiver, uh, and it's got a cable over here to this. Here's an antenna tuner. This is 50 ohms. And the phase angle is zero. Okay, so it's all real power. Then this goes to an, a reactive load. And believe me, all antennas are reactive load. Reactive means there's either capacitance in it or inductance. Okay, so you've got a wave coming out this way. And it is your original wave where the current and the voltage are in phase. But then when it hits this, what happens is coming back, we'll take the voltage reference, or the voltage waveform as the reference, okay? And I'm not very good at drawing a sine wave either backwards or forwards. And then we look at the current. Um, let's see, that's behind that, okay, and so on. I'm not very good at drawing that. But I want you to notice something about this wave, so much so that I think we're going to erase all of this and draw a little bit better waveform. Here is the voltage waveform. Okay, now we're going to draw a current waveform that is out of phase. Okay, now if you want to look at power, we'll use orange for power here. Here we've got positive times positive, positive up to here. We have positive times positive. So this part right here, from here to here, is positive power because it's a positive times a power. And from here to here, we have a negative times a negative, so that's positive power. What gets really weird and hard to, you know, it kind of blows your mind a little bit, is this part in here. This is positive, this is negative. So we have a positive times a negative, and in here we have negative power. Okay, negative power. And over here, uh, until these two come back up, um, that's positive, but this goes positive there. And until that goes positive from here to here, we have negative power. Now, how do you actually determine the real power here? You do the root mean square 
where uh, you multiply everything out and you find out that the actual um, RMS power is going to be positive um, because remember these little segments here of negative power they're going to subtract from the positive ones to give you the true power in RMS root mean square. Okay now notice what's going on here. In order to have this equal the total number of power there's going to have to be periods of time when the voltage is a little higher than it would normally be. Remember this is reflected and it's out of phase. Okay, That will give you times when uh, the voltage will actually appear higher because the current is lagging behind it. So to get the same amount of total power the voltage will be just a little bit higher for just a bit. Now the power at the driven end of the line is momentarily momentarily higher than the power uh, that's actually injected by the transmitter because you've got these reflections going back and forth. But that is an illusion. The total power going down the line is going to be equal to the power out of the transmitter. You're going to get some power back which is out of phase and will start playing these phase games and it's going to go back and forth a little bit until it's all like if you put out just a short little burst of power it go down part of it radiated back the antenna tuner bounces it back part radiated and so on and you'll find that over time this all averages out to the same amount of power an antenna tuner cannot create power out of nothing because you're talking do it over time when you're talking energy energy can not in unless you're in a nuclear reactor be either destroyed or created okay so it's got to be the same it's just that some parts are positive some parts are negative and it all averages out to the same amount of power okay hope that answers your question there larry and um, uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy uh, what you've been seeing here. So there you have it. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe. Please click like. And until we next meet, 73.